Hi, let's see some differences between Dutch from the Netherlands and Dutch from Belgium. When I'm meeting someone from the Netherlands, being a Belgian, they only have to say one sentence and I already know, oh, this is someone from the Netherlands, this person is not from Belgium. And how do I know that? Well, let's see some of these uh, differences. And we're starting with the G. Uh, the G in Belgium is pronounced like I just pronounced it, rather soft. Push, you put, you're just pushing air out of your, your uh, uh, mouth, just like a, a hissing cat. You know, when a cat is really angry, uh, it makes like the sound. Uh, well, that's the he in, um, in Belgium. However, in the Netherlands, it it's, comes more from the throat. And it's something like... Uh, so you add a little bit of R and... Uh, it's it's a little more um, um, a little stronger than the g, the soft g from Belgium. The next letter is the R. The R in the Netherlands is um, more like the English R. It's a little softer and it comes from the back of the mouth. However, in Belgium, the R will be more rolling, like right. Uh, so, for example, for the word uh, graag in Belgium, it would sound like this, graag. But in the Netherlands, it's quite a different word. It's like graag or something like that, because my uh, pronunciation with Dutch from the Netherlands isn't uh, perfect. These are two main letters that are different. Uh, another difference is pronunciation of this word, communicatie. And the end here, the C, in Belgium is C. But in the Netherlands, it will become C, with the T sound in it, communicatie. And it goes for all words that end with C. For example, politie, in Belgium, police, uh, politie, in the Netherlands, so you have to put the T sound in between there. And one last difference is uh, with vowels. For example, the vowels with double O, U, and E, uh, they at the end of the um, of this vowel of this double vowel, and the Dutch people would add a W or um, sometimes a G. Uh, for example, it starts with ogen in Belgium, ogen the eyes, but in uh, in the Netherlands they would say ogen something more with the W ogen. Uh, next one is geur smell in Belgium geur. In the Netherlands, it would become geur, or something like that. Uh, again, my pronunciation from the Netherlands isn't uh, perfect. And uh, the next one is uitspraak in the Netherlands, uitspraak in Belgium. And sometimes they put a G at the end, a J, the J sound, with E and E, and also with E. I think, uitspraak, uitspraak, something like that. Uh, for example, ijzeren, iron, ijzeren. Uh, next one, eerste, eerste. So, these are the differences. Uh, to finish up, uh, this question was asked by Ismo. We're going to uh, listen to a text from someone speaking uh, in with with the Dutch accent. Uh, he will say a few sentences that will be on the board and then I will read them again once with my teacher Dutch. So when I'm making effort to articulate well and to speak decent uh, Belgian Dutch and then with a little bit of dialect, how I would talk to uh, someone uh, who's my friend and I know they're also Belgians, and uh, then you would start to drop letters and so on. 
All right, so let's listen to let's listen to uh, someone from the Netherlands who does not have a strong accent. So you will have to try to pay attention to um, these these u and o and the g and the g and the r and so um, you get some practice there. All right, so let's listen to what uh, that Dutch person says. Ik heb gezien dat uh, afgelopen week meer dan 2000 aardbevingen boven 2,5 op de schaal van Richter heeft plaatsgevonden. I will read it with my Dutch teacher voice. Uh, ik heb gezien dat de afgelopen week meer dan 2000 aardbevingen boven 2,5 op de schaal van Richter heeft plaatsgevonden. Alright, and now how we talk to a friend. Ik heb gezien dat de afgelopen week meer dan 2000 aardbevingen boven 2,5 op de schaal van Richter heeft plaatsgevonden. Alright, another one. So let's listen again. En nog nooit zoveel. Zo, so, dat betekent in welke tijd wij leven. Goed om daarbij stil te staan, in welke tijd wij leven. Alright, teacher voice. En nog nooit zoveel. Zo, dat betekent in welke tijd wij leven. Goed om daarbij stil te staan, in welke tijd wij leven. In my normal Dutch. En nog nooit zoveel. Zo, dat betekent in welke tijd dat wij leven. Goed om daarbij stil te staan, in welke tijd wij leven. Alright, feel free to replay. Uh, if you have any more questions about pronunciation or other questions, feel free to ask it in the comments like Ismo did for this question. Tot ziens!